I hope that my new classmates accept me for who and what I am. I wish I'd just been born a boy. It would have made my life so much easier. I still don't think my mum understands that this isn't a phase. This is who I am. Gay, lesbian or transgender. Coming out can be incredibly tough. The teenagers, how you do it, can shape the rest of your life. Here, I have to not be myself and I have to be someone else. No, you're caring that you've been for 18 years. It got me to the point of self-harm. It got me to the point of even overdosing and it was just horrible. It is very much squishing my boobs down right now and I have like the boobs of, a, of an old lady. <laughs> This is the story of three teenagers, three coming out journeys and three life-defining moments, told in their own words. She wants me to be Karen, her son, but I am not a boy. I am Natalie and I wish she'd see me as her own daughter. 17-year-old Natalie was born a boy. She only told her mum a few months ago that she wants to be a girl. It would be nice if just once you could actually say Nat to me. No, because I've already told you I won't call exactly. you Nat. You will always still be my eldest son. Exactly. Not and eldest that. daughter. 17 year old Tori is terrified her beauty college classmates will shun her for being a lesbian. I just want to stop having to lie about who I am at college to my friends. Now I'm really nervous. Basically, I've been lying to you, saying that I was straight when actually I'm a lesbian. And 19 year old Jamie's mates have no idea he was born a girl. What kind of girl do you think is your type? This one's quite a laugh for them to go out with. All three want to be accepted for who they are. All three will be coming out to the whole world. These are their diaries. People might think it's a choice, but the only choice is to uh, either come out or uh, try and deal with it by yourself. I'm a boy becoming a girl, but the truth is, I'm a girl trapped in the wrong body. Nasty lives with her family in the Scottish countryside. She was born a kid, but six months ago, she told her mum that she is a girl, not a boy. Mum Arlene is finding the situation really difficult. She doesn't want to call her Nasty and is uncomfortable with her dressing as a girl. Arlene is also worried about the effect Nasty's sex change might have on her three youngest sons. It's very tough knowing that your son of nearly 18 years wants to be a girl. I think he's making a big mistake. I don't know if this will break our relationship, make it better, whatever, I don't know. Um, so this is the only skirt I have at the moment. I'm trying to get a red one to go with my boots. Um, I've only just got one bra at the moment. I did have two, but the other one's disappeared. It's fairly small, but it so works. <laughs> and my mum's never seen me wear any of this at all. She doesn't want me uh, dressing up, as she would say, around the house. How was you this morning? I'm all right. What lies ahead then? Uh, I might meet up with Chris later. Definitely need to think about doing some way here. Um, we'll do that whenever it's long enough. Can I ask you something? What? Is that what everybody's going to call you now, Natalie? Yeah, pretty much. Because it's quite a big step. Yeah, but it's one of the many steps I'm going to have to take. Natalie and her mum are still wrestling with how to handle the situation. What are you going to do when you're dressing as a girl and you're totally Natalie now? Are you going to say, or are we going to say, oh, oh yeah, it's Kieran, or this is a new friend, this is a friend of Kieran's called Natalie, or what? Because the kids are going to be so confused. Yeah. Well, that's up to you, really. It's also up to you. Now, what would you think would be easier for them to understand? I don't know how how I'm going to explain it. I don't know. 
Bye. Bye. See you later. Have a nice day. As often as she can, Natalie travels to Aberdeen, where she transforms into a girl. I prefer being just like this. I just want people to see me as Natalie and just, that's it really. Nothing else to it, just me. Away from home, Natalie hangs out with her other trans and gay friends, but what she really wants is her mum's approval. I'm not really sure how I feel. I have lots of emotions. I feel heartbroken that he doesn't want to be caring anymore. I'm hoping it is a phase, and if it is a phase he's going to go through, then I hope he realises very quickly, rather than a few years down the line when it's too late. I do think he's making a mistake. So I guess you're not looking forward to going home tonight then? Never do. Well, I just think you'll go home, you'll go to sleep, and then I'll be in the morning and I'll be back in sunny Aberdeen. This isn't a phase. This is who I am. I'm not trying to be someone else. I'm just trying to be myself. The one thing I'd really like to come from the next few months is for my mum to at least be able to call me Natalie. Or even just Nat. Because then she is one step closer to see me as her daughter. them because I've had some really horrible reactions from people in the past. At Beauty College, only Tori's closest friends know she's a lesbian. She would like to come out to the rest of her coursemates, but her bad experiences at school have made her very anxious about how they react. Well, at my old high school, which was an all-girls school, the first person that I came out to at school was one of my best friends. And I was like, oh, she won't tell anyone. Oh, I'll be fine. And then by break time, like everyone knew. Most of my friends didn't really speak to me because everyone was like, oh, that's disgusting. How can you be bi? How can you be a lesbian? And it got me to the point of self-harm. It got me to the point of stuff like even overdosing. No one deserves to go through that. It was horrible. So, sorry. And um, I don't wish it upon anyone. Coming back here makes me think about coming out of college and it's like, what if I have to go through all that again? Her school wasn't aware of any problems, but when Tori left, the difficulties continued at hairdressing college. Now on a beauty course, Tori is scared that her friends will react badly for a third time. Tori lives at home with her mum and two sisters. I remember like in year seven, I knew then like that I was, but I was like kind of denying it. I think probably when you said you were being teased at school for being a lesbian, I wondered then, but you were so indignant that you weren't. <laughs> I thought, okay, maybe not. And then when you told me, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, how can you be so okay with it? <laughs> Kick me out, do something horrible. Why would I have kicked you out? I don't know, most people do kick their kids out for like overnight and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I was waiting for you to do that. No, you're still Tory, we still love you. This was year 10. At that point, I would like came out. This was the year that I couldn't get changed in the changing rooms because of like everyone like giving their comments and stuff. You were very quiet all through that year. I just found that one really hard, I never knew what the problem was, knew there was something wrong, but you would never tell us. Mm. You are always, not have been, are very good at wearing a confident mask and coming across as really blasé and happy-go-lucky, but inside you're shaking in your boots. <laughs> so if it does all go wrong at college this time, will you share it with me, please? I think I would share it with you. 
My major worry about coming out to my college friends is the fact that last year when I was doing hairdressing, they didn't take it very well. Roughly 10 girls were horrible about it, even to the point of threatening to hurt me. It all started with one girl saying how she didn't want me to touch her or do her hair. I hope that my new classmates accept me for who and what I am. But my fears are that they won't, especially now that I'm doing beauty therapy, which is so much more intimate. Tori has told just five people on her course. Tonight, she's having a girly night in with her closest friends, who know she's a lesbian. I've got a pepperoni and a chicken and two margaritas. <laughs> are we having plates or...? I'll get the biscuits. Nah. So what are you going to do about college then? Are you going to say anything to anyone? I'm kind of worried because of last year with the whole hairdressing mm. lot, but you were there for that. Yeah. I think people are just scared, but I think the whole group know you, mm. and they love you. So what actually happened last year then? We're talking about like who we are and how it was induction day, and Tori kind of said, you know, oh, let's be on. The campus where I've ever seen. And then like throughout the day, people like kept on going up to her. One of the girls was like, oh, she's not touching my hair. I don't want her touching me. Yeah, she'll jump on me, wasn't mm. she? She's going to predatate me and she's yeah, going to try and fuck me or something. I was like, me. you look like a troll doll. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon it'll be the same as last year? Hopefully not, because I think they're nicer than last year. But, like, you would think be beauticians would be the worst. Because mm. they're you like... You've got to touch them in yeah, a lot more intimate you've places. You've got to touch their lady garden. And that's what I'm worried about. I think it's really mm. stupid and ignorant that people think, oh, she's a lesbian, she's doing a beauty course. She's down there. Oh, she's going to jump me. Oh, yeah, just doing your bikini line. Oh, whilst I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's part of gay life and you've got to accept it. If you don't accept it, then you're just going to be like a miserable, like, lesbian at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs>
he breaks down and that is when I worry because he, he does actually just say to me, it's never going to be right, it can't be made right. But I just want to make sure that we do everything that we can to try and make it as right as it can be. In the small village where Jamie lives, everybody knows his background. Hi, Jamie. Hi because I've lived in the same village um, pretty much all my life. Everyone's kind of grown up with me or knows me from school and just knows me from being around and everyone kind of knows me as that transgender kid. <laughs> that one that, that was a girl that's now a boy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sometimes I think, wouldn't it be better if I told people? But to me, I think as soon as I tell people, I'm treated differently. I'm, I'm not treated as a guy anymore and I'm not part of that. I'm treated as a guy that's not quite a guy. All right, Take see you soon you then, bye. Jamie is leading a double life and he is hugely torn about whether to tell his coursemates he's biologically female. There are only four girls on his computer course and it's a subject that always comes up. How are we supposed to have a 1.6 girl to guy ratio? I don't know where they'll hide, honestly. I don't think girls are really that into programming, so... There's actually no girls at all. <laughs> no, I, just, I wasn't surprised at I, all. I just remember going to an open day and seeing like one girl that's a little bit depressing. <laughs> There's loads on my open day, absolutely loads, but then obviously not at home. Yeah, okay. I turned up and was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I haven't told uh, those guys that myself now. I think people pretty much do just accept me as you know, one of them and one of the guys and, and no questions asked really, hopefully. Um, I still find um, like talk about girls and things a little bit awkward. Um, just find that a bit hard because I feel like, I don't know, they probably don't have any expectations of what I should have or shouldn't have experienced, but I worry about what I should say and what I shouldn't say. Um, probably more than I should, really. I'm not sure whether to tell people or not at university. I worry that I'm deceiving people, but I know that if people found out that they would probably treat me differently. I don't ever want to be treated any less of a man than I am now. I'd like to be more upfront with people, but I'm so worried about what could happen. I'd hate to lose people or get myself hurt. If I did tell them, would they treat me like a girl? In Scotland, Natalie is spending more and more time in Aberdeen so she can wear her girls' clothes. She's finding it really difficult being Kieran at home and is still very much at loggerheads with her mum. You've got to learn from yours and mistakes, but this is one hell of a big mistake if it turns out to be one. Kieran's always been one for attention seeking. Um, he likes he likes the limelight, and this is another little phase that he's now in a group that are different from the norm. Um, but if he ends up going through actually with an operation to change his gender, then that's too late. We can't do anything about that. That's why I want to make sure that he is actually doing the right thing and he's totally positive because he's still very young he's only coming up for 18 um, and I think it's a very very life-changing decision to make at such a young age I just wish he wasn't doing it I still wish he wasn't doing it I still wish he was staying Kieran there's just too much tension in the house and it makes me feel so uncomfortable I'm always expecting it to turn into an argument because of the atmosphere my mum isn't comfortable with me being myself, but I can't be happy being someone I'm not. She wants me to be Karen, her son, but I am not a boy. I am Natalie, and I wish she'd see me as her own daughter. Um, steering wheel, please! Steering wheel, please! <laughs> I want to speak to Kieran to explain how I'm feeling basically tell him how worried I am, um, how scared I am for the future for him. So, you're a boy no. that wants to be a girl. No, I'm a girl that's in the wrong body, so I'm not changing gender, I'm just changing sex. I'm still very worried for you. You've changed, you don't want to be part of our family anymore. I don't feel right. When everyone says he and everyone says Kieran. Well, sorry, that's who you are. You're Kieran. You're not comfortable being Kieran here. Yeah. yeah? We're not comfortable you being Natalie here. Then why? 
because I won't have the other children. Somebody's already asked why you're wearing girls' things in your hair. I find they're far too young. Yeah, but why not when they're in bed? What's, what's stopping them, you there? Because I don't want you being Natalie in my house. And why not? Because I don't. I know you as Karen. You said you've been like this for years. Yeah. Sorry, you haven't. I have. Or, right, why did you always want your hair short then? You used to moan at your brother about, oh, you can't wear your hair long. You, want, you need your hair short. And so if you wanted, yeah, well, if some... you wanted to be a girl, why did you always insist on your hair short then? Well, maybe because I couldn't tell you things, because the way you react to it. No. Yes, yes. We have spoke. We've spoken about loads of things. We yeah. spoke about sex. We spoke about losing virginity. But it does seem like a lot of the things I've been doing recently, you've not reacted well to it, and that's why I've been telling you less and less. That's why I've been distancing myself so much. You will not be Natalie until you move out. Yeah, well. So that's plain and simple. If you don't like the rules move out. I'm not the one that's been totally weird and alien here. Because I'm being weird and alien. At this moment in time, you're not making yourself feel part of this family. You're making your fi yourself feel like an alien in this family. To put it bluntly, you can't be bothered with anybody else and you only think of yourself. And it's like me, me, me all the time. And now, oh, I suddenly so, want to so be a girl. I'm, so, because I'm not a goody two-shoes Christian and straight, then that makes me an attention seeker. You've always been attention seeking, Kieran. You've got two choices. Stay here and abide by the rules or move out and do what you like. It'd be nice if just once you could actually say Nat to me. No, because I've already told you I won't call exactly. you Nat. I've already told you I won't call you Nat. Exactly. I will call you so Kieran. You not, will be Kieran. You will also be my eldest son. Exactly. Not and eldest that... daughter. Because sorry, I've never had a daughter. I am trying my best. If it's not good enough, then really that's tough. So I'm a little bit upset, but I'm I'm a little bit relieved too that he now knows how, how I feel. Yeah, it was to be expected, really. If he can't be Natalie here, then he has to move out. If he, he basically you don't stay somewhere that you don't that you don't like. I'm glad he now knows how I feel. But I don't think she sees it. This is how I was always been like. She always thinks it was just something that's come around, but it's not. It's just not something you can control, really. I mean, people might think it's a choice, but the only choice is to uh, either come out or uh, try and deal with it by yourself. a secret from the other girls on my course kind of makes me feel like I'm lying to them. I think that having to hide who I am from them is a little bit sad in all honesty because they can talk about their boyfriends whereas I have to lie to them. It's not something that I can just choose to be. It just happened and it's the way I am. If I could choose, would they really think i choose this life? Tori has been with girlfriend Courtney for five months. She wants to be able to be open about their relationship. You gonna tell us at college? I think about ten of next week on Tuesday, but it's because it's our last day anyway. So I thought we'd give them the whole like Christmas holiday, so let's settle a bit. How do you think you're gonna tell them? Probably just slip it into a conversation, or pretend, like or just say, do you know what? Courtney's actually a girl. Did she tell him I'm a boy? One of the girls saw, like, my background, like, and it was obviously us two, wasn't it? And I was like, no, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> and they're like, oh, looks like a girl. And I was like, yeah, he gets that a lot. So I'm a boy that looks like a girl, Pretty but much. it's actually a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to keep you a secret. I could have told them, but I didn't want them to, like, react just yet. Because I, was, I wanted them to, like, know me for me first. We'd only been there for, like, a week. Otherwise, I would have told him. But you being a lesbian is you. Yeah, I know, but some people don't like it. I'm more nervous and scared to come out of college due to the actions I've had in the past. 
I hope nobody sees me differently. I've taken the time to let them know me, for me, and not Tory the lesbian predator. However, part of me is excited to tell them, just to not have to lie to them about who I am anymore. morning of the last day of term, Tori has decided today's the day she's going to come out to her classmates. I'm feeling quite nervous because of what happened last year, um, but I'm also quite excited in case I do take it quite well. You know, I just want to stop having to lie about who I am at college to my friends when they deserve to know. Hey Mama. Hey darling, you right? Hey. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Alright. Are you nervous about today? More excited to be honest. I'm not going to tell them though till like the end of the day rather than the beginning because then that way they've got the whole of Christmas holidays to let it like settle and then not be a big deal when we come back. And if they don't like it, I just go, like, alright, see you after Christmas, bye! All you can do is go be yourself. They can like it or lump it. But I have got my phone if you need me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know, definitely. I'll just give you a text. Okay, make sure you do. Oh, I'll be texting you to find out. Okay. In hope, Jamie is getting ready to leave the university. Each day, he puts on a bike to flatten his busts and give him a more masculine chin. I'll show you what it looks like on. Um, so, like, this is the fact that it's like a half top, but then it is very much squishing my boobs down right now. It is quite painful, mainly front and over shoulders and back, but also, like, under my arms as well. Sometimes it can really, like, nip in under my arms and be really painful and kind of. I have, like, if anyone ever saw my boobs, just, just in the life, um, they are, like, the worst boobs you've ever seen, just because, because I've never, ever worn a bra that, you know, would hold them properly, and they've always been squished down, I have, like, the boobs of a, of an old lady, <laughs> not good. At university, I could definitely not go without a binder, um, I can barely go out the house to the, like, the local shop without a binder on, so there's no chance that I could go to university without a binder on, at all. But to me, if I'm telling someone the difference between me and them is what's under my clothes, and why should that matter? And though I still feel dishonest. But if I told people I'm convinced they should be differently, I'd definitely go like that. Jamie worries most about not telling his closest friends, especially Marvin. Mark's a really nice guy, I've known him since last year. He doesn't know, <laughs> which is a little bit a little bit scary, but you know, we get on, so at the moment it's like, he's kind of one of the people I think, you know, sure, I'm sure, I'm not telling, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> Alright, All right. do you want a drink? Yeah, why not? Can we have the Carlsberg and Coke, please? Pants of each? Yeah, please. Have we had any lectures today at all? Uh, no, I've got a meeting later and then I've got a lecture, so, fun times. <laughs> fun times indeed, man. Cheers. Cheers. Go. I'll let you break because I'm dreadful. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> boys being boys, as ever, the talk turns to girls. Oh. Right, good game. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think it's really weird the fact that they have so many guys in computer science? It's literally 1% yeah. girls, if that, that is. Our chance of meeting someone on our course is seriously limited. Yeah, that is pretty stupid, yeah. <laughs> About three people or something. Yeah. I don't really think the girls on the, our course are my type anyway, really, so. Mm. What kind of girl do you think is your type? Nice and pop me. I don't want anyone like that'll just treat me like crap, really. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Not into that. <laughs> but how about you? If she's good looking, that's a plus. Like, it's not necessary. Like, as long as they're nice, they're friendly, you know, it's, it's what it's counts in a person. If they've good, got a good soul, like, like art, basically. So many people are so quick to judge. I think, you know, you've got oh, yeah. to get to know a person first. Obviously, Obviously yeah. yeah. If they're nice, then it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to, you know, be a model or anything. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I've known Jamie for about a year and a half, I'd say, and he's a really nice guy. He's really friendly. He's just like he's easy to talk to. Like if you have any problems, you could easily go up to him and speak to him. I don't think Marek's got a clue at all. 
Um, with Mark, I did find the girl chat awkward, it's just because I feel like I've got to be really careful what I've got, what I'm saying to people, especially what I'm saying to him. Um, I don't want to give myself away and accidentally come out. <laughs> Jamie just wants to be a regular guy like Marek, without all his worries, and he'd love to meet a girlfriend too. But he can't get past the fact that he feels like he's deceiving people. It's something he spends hours agonising over with his sister, Emily. I'd love you to get a girlfriend. I'd absolutely Why? love it. Because then it'd be someone extra to go shopping with. And oh, okay. Like, I just, I don't know, I think it'd be nice to see you with someone as well. well. I just worry that if I was with somebody and then they found out and I couldn't give them the sex that they wanted, then they would just either look elsewhere or wish that they had looked elsewhere. You can still have proper sex with somebody, male sex with somebody, but it might just not be with your own penis, it could be yeah. with that. But there are things out there that you can use, there really are. You just, you shy away from everything like that. Run away, not even shy <laughs> away, run away. I just feel like I'm being dishonest if I don't tell them straight away. I feel like I'm almost deceiving somebody if I wait on all that But you're time. not lying. But in a way I am because, because I am really. But you're not. Because you know, you're not walking around going, I have a Venus. <laughs> Walk around without, like. Exactly. No. <laughs> so you're not lying. I don't know. That Everyone always jokes dream. that I should tell people that it got shot off in the war. I'm like, no, <laughs> that joke's never ever going to work. That's a bad joke. I was talking to Emily tonight. She was giving me the girl talk. I know I'm too shy, but I find it really hard to take any advice and become more confident. I definitely feel like I'm carrying a secret. I think me not telling people makes me feel like I can't get close to people at university. I wish I had just been born a boy. It would have made my life so much easier. After the argument with her mum, Natalie is an Aberdeen scene fencer. I don't think my mum kind of understands that it isn't a phase. It's not something that you choose to do just for a year and go, well, to this year I'm going to be this. You know, uh, everyone wants to have their family accept them and always be there for them. And my mum has said that she'd always be there for me and support me, but I can't see how that's going to work out if she isn't going to be able to accept me like this at all. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Cool. Come in. Yeah. Where were you today? I was in Edinburgh. Bet you were glad to be away from home. Yeah. How was the situation at home just now? Not much better, really. Is your mum still the same? Yeah. No, well, she basically said I could get surgery, I could be on hormones and everything, and she'd still see me as her son. Ouch. Do you think it'll ever improve? No, I'm going to have to move out pretty soon, am I? Because yeah. I just dread going home, and it's awful, really. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Couldn't imagine that. I think I'll have to really consider moving out because home life is getting really stressful. But I just can't afford to move anywhere just now. On the plus side, I have managed to get some work experience where I'm working as now. So therefore, I can be working as myself. Hi there. Hey. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Today is the day Natalie finds out if she'll be offered proper paid work. It could mean she's able to move out from home. Everyone here knows the situation and it's given her the freedom to talk openly about calling herself Natalie. Was he present Nat or Natalie or both are fine. Yeah. Natalie with Daniel and Danny. Yeah, well, I'm a bit the same as well. Yeah, Chris yeah. and Christopher. I always find Christopher makes it sound like I'm getting told off by my parents. <laughs> 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 I used to be really well, my mum was worried that I wouldn't get a job um, because I was trans, but really it doesn't cause any problems at all. I definitely feel a lot more freer while I'm at work than I do at home. I guess because everyone here can accept me as me. Well, at home I'd get told off and I'd have to get changed and things. And I'll catch you about half twelve before I leave, yeah? Okay. Or we chat with you. Okay? Sure. Cheers.
Mars has just asked me to have a chat at half past 12, but I don't know what it's about. It would be great if he did uh, offer me a per more permanent place here, but yeah. Right, so it's your last day. Yeah. Uh, how do you think uh, your three weeks has progressed so far? I think it's went pretty well. Well, we've had some good comments from the staff who felt you've been part of our team. Uh, we'd like to offer you a Christmas temp job with us. Sure. How would you feel about that? I'd be pretty pleased with that, yeah. You'd be a good asset for us over Christmas time. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be back on Monday then, yeah? Yeah. Paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ta. <laughs> Yeah, it's brilliant news, yeah. It's really brilliant news. All of that kind of adds up to me being able to become a little bit more independent as well. I could think about moving out, because um, now that I've got some money. Nat explained to us at the time what she was going through. Um, there was one or two maybe raised eyebrows at the start, um, but since then, everyone's just adjusted to it and started calling uh, her her rather than him. Back at home, Arlene has decided she wants to try and reconnect with Natalie. Basically, he went for a job as Nat and got the job as Nat. I thought he was just playing sillies and just wanting a bit of attention but he's obviously taking this serious. So that's why I'm not softening a bit, but trying to compromise a little bit on him too. I'm gonna to ask him if he's gonna go shopping, if he wants to help to try and choose clothes, just to try and see if I can help. Kieran! It's a big step because Arlene wants to try shopping for girls' clothes. Come here a minute, please. Yeah. I'd like for us to get to know each other again. We're not the way you used to be. It depends on who, if you're accept, willing to accept that I'm not caring. But you have to understand, this is all just suddenly pounced on me that you want to be Nat. And I can't suddenly change my feelings from loving a son to loving a daughter. It would be nice if you could call me Nat at least once or twice and not say it as if it's two different people. You are two different people. Because you don't want to dress as Kieran anymore, you want to dress as Nat. Here, I have to not be myself and I have to be someone else. No, you're Kieran that you've been for 18 years. No. No, okay, so who are you then? Well, I'm always Natalie, all the time, but I'm just a lot more quiet about it while I'm here. I want to try and get back some communication between us. Because I love you. I always will do, whether you're Natalie or Kieran. And you know that. Mm -hmm. I think my mum is trying to work things out between us, but I don't know how well it's going to go. If one of us says something, we could end up starting a fight at some point. I'm still kind of worried that it's going to go really, really wrong. struggling with telling her beauty college friends that she's gay. She's talked to her teachers and they've been really supportive. Her plan now is to come out after college today starting with classmates Katie and Holly who have no idea she's a lesbian. I find bikini lines quite awkward and you have to kind of watch what you say and you can't obviously talk about them behind their backs. It's so yeah. unprofessional. I've never talked to someone like, say I've had a client come in and they're just completely like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Werewolf comes in. I'll be exactly go to you and be like, oh my god, did you see that girl? She's a beast. I'm like, I need help in here. <laughs> <laughs> Meet next to a set of arms. <laughs> it's always awkward when the chap turns to boyfriends. The person who I've seen at the moment, I don't think they particularly like the fact that I'm a beauty therapist. Why? Because, like, when I, if I see his nails, I do that. Or see his eyebrows. I go absolutely. I do that. And I have to do his eyebrows. I, I done his nails last night and I done his eyebrows. <laughs> I was saying to mine about doing a back second crack and he's like, no. It's just so funny. Their reaction is just like, are you serious? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm picturing. They'll be like, what? <laughs> uh, it annoys me sometimes because like they can talk about their boyfriends and I can't really talk about court. 
but I'm hoping like when I tell them then everything will be sorted and I won't have to like hide it and hopefully I'll feel comfortable talking about it with them. I guess the only way that I'm going to know is when I tell them. but now I'm also really nervous, which isn't good, but I'll be fine. It's the end of the day, and finally time for Tori to tell her classmates. Tori's friend Rosie, who already knows, is joining her. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What have we been talking about? Beyonce. Like a baby bump. I've got some news, right? Uh, I'm not pregnant, but... Good. <laughs> um, basically, I've been lying to you, um, saying that I was straight when actually I'm a lesbian. Really? Yeah. Are you actually? So Courtney's a girl? Yeah. I kind of had an inkling that you are anyway, because whenever we, we would like be talking about guys, you'd be sitting there just like... <laughs> and you'd be like, what about your boyfriend? I'd be like, yeah, he's great. <laughs> Why are we nervous? Because of like, how we would react. Yeah. Why wouldn't we like be okay with it? It's not exactly going to change who you are. You're still you. Because last year, when I was doing hair, everyone was like, what? Did you get labelled as the lesbian? It was toward the gross lesbian or something like that. I was like really paranoid because... You know, like, we have to do, like, bikini lines and stuff. I was worried in case someone found out and then was like, I do not want you doing my bikini line. I wouldn't really care if lesbians well, doing my bikini what? line. It's their job to do that. It's not like anyone's hitting on you, is it? No. It's just, like, hair needs to be removed. It's like, if a man came in for, like, back sucking crack or something and a woman did it, he's not going to be like, oh, my God, she's going to hit on me. So they don't do that. They're just like, I hope she's fit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Knowing that you know it just makes you feel, like, so much more like relieved and like more like I can be me if that makes sense. Feeling really good because they took it so well and oh they're just happy because they know now they don't have to lie and then everyone else is gonna know. And then, oh. But as soon as she told us she just seemed so relieved. I'm so happy that she could actually like trust us. I think by telling them, I've made us closer together, like as like friends. Oh, it's just so good. We can just like chat about anything now, and then they're caught as a girl, which is even better. I think like, other girls in the course will be fine with it. Everyone seems to be really nice in the course. I Every, everyone loves Tori already. I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to going back after Christmas now because I can just be like to anyone else. Guess what? I am gay. Jamie is having his testosterone injection. Jamie Walmsley, please. Fitting in as one of the guys and being as close as he can physically to a boy is really important to Jamie. It's part of his life that he can't share with his university friends. At the moment, I'd probably say I was kind of 70% a guy. <laughs> you know, uh, the chest surgery is still a massive, massive thing for me. That's going to help me get to like 85%. <laughs> Since I've been starting the testosterone injections, I've noticed loads of changes. Mainly my voice. My voice has dropped a lot. Facial hair, body hair. I used to have like really big hips and a big bum. I now have more of a man shape, I think. <laughs> I do wish quite often, actually, that I didn't have to be trans and that I had just been born naturally as a guy. Um, it made everything a lot easier. Jamie is hoping to have chest surgery and both his breasts removed in the next three months. But despite doing all that he can to become a complete guy, Jamie is still worried that he is deceiving his closest friends. I think of myself as a very honest person, so feeling like I'm carrying a secret holds me back from getting close to people. I love hanging out with my friend Marek at uni. It's really painful feeling like I'm lying to him. 
I worry so much that if friends find out, they'll get angry with me or accuse me of deceiving them. I just couldn't cope with that if it happened with Marek. Jamie and his sister Emily are off to a university rag fundraising event and Marek is going to be there. They were really good, yeah. They were awesome. I thought they were so good. The, the girls are pretty as well, obviously, so that's probably why they gather in like a crowd around yeah. them. So. They are all really pretty. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> do you think after like doing this that you get more involved with rag or anything? I, I do think I should get more involved. I just, I don't know. I should. <laughs> yeah, I think you should definitely come out more, Jimmy. It's been another day with Matt not knowing. Yeah, Jamie has to come to a decision about whether to tell him. <laughs> Natalie has struggled for six months with mum Arlene about being a girl. But working at Argos as Natalie has made Arlene realise how serious she is. Arlene has suggested a shopping trip together to rebuild <sighs> some bridges. We seem to have had a good relationship, Kieran and I but lately it's just not been that good and I want to try and rekindle that a bit, hopefully. So I think that's the whole thing of, of going out today is basically just to try and spend some time and just trying to communicate again because we don't, we don't seem to speak anymore. It would make me feel a lot happier if my mum could just call me Natalie. We are going on a shopping trip to Aberdeen, which is where I'm most comfortable being myself and where me and my friends hang out who are all accepting. I really hope this goes well. She has never seen me as myself before, and I hope nothing goes wrong. So it'll be nice for us to spend some time together, whether we get on or not. Yeah. I do still love him, you know. I know, but it's just difficult. T-shirts, tops and things. I shall see what I find. Okay. Any particular colours? No. No, oh well. Well, at least if nothing else, we'll be able to spend some time with each other. That's nice. That's got long sleeves. It's not too flowery and whatever. You going to try it on? Sure. How's that? Mm-hmm, that looks all right. Exactly. Yeah, I like that, that's nice. So this is the first shopping trip we've done that he's actually bought girly things. So it's, a, it's very strange, but it's, um, it's not as bad and it's not as scary as I thought. Uh, it's really strange seeing you in a dress. Because I'm what, a lesbian. What you had on before was a t-shirt. Boys and girls both wear t-shirts. Oh. But it's just... It's just very strange. That's nice on, but I think it looks too tight. I think that looks too tight. That would double up as a dress. With it tights. would do, with tights or black leggings and nice boots with a heel. Exactly. Yeah. I know it's going to take a while for you to get used to it. I'm getting used to it. I'm coming round to the idea. Yeah. It still doesn't mean I'm totally comfortable with this, but I'm at least trying. It's a bit scary seeing him in like a nice posh dress. So um, it's something I'm going to have to get used to. But I think today's going really well so far. I still don't think I can call, call Kieran that. Um, I don't know. 
just just doesn't seem right. Your seat's okay in the back? Yeah, that's perfect, thanks. Yeah. Lunch. <laughs> the energy back, yeah? Yes, definitely. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank you. a lot. Good at this way. Sure. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> What do you think? Tune them out. I'm going to be boring. So how do you think it's going then? Not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. In what way? I don't know. You might not like what I chose to wear. You might call me he an awful lot more. I am. I am trying not to. It's something I'm working on and I'm having to think of what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not as shocked as I thought I would be. <laughs> Good. Because I thought I would be quite shocked and emotional and I just wouldn't accept seeing you in a girly top. Well, it does show you you're trying because you did buy the top for me and it shows that you are supportive. It's better than I thought. It's good you like it too. Cause... Don't know if I like it as much as the other one. <laughs> well, <tough. laughs> it's nice to see you smiling. Yeah. Because it's not often I see you smiling nowadays. Exactly. So yeah, I'm having a nice time. And if we don't get around everything today, then we could always come back another day. The shopping trip with my mum went really well. I expected it to get awkward, but nothing bad happened, so it's all good. My mum also bought me a lovely dress and didn't call me her son to anyone in the shops. Although there's still a lot to go, my mum has taken steps in the right direction, which is making me feel a lot happier too. I've decided to tell Marek, and today is the day. I'm so nervous, I really hope he doesn't take it badly. He seems a great guy, and I want to be a better friend, and need to be honest. Hopefully, it just won't matter, and nothing will change. I really don't want to end up being treated like a girl. You're not worrying about it, are you? Well, I have been worrying about it. I always worry about it. It's a scary thing to do, just to tell somebody. If it's holding you back, then you should tell whoever you need to tell and do whatever you need to do. But then at the same time, if I tell people, it's probably just going to hold me back just as much, but in a different way, because if I tell people, then, you know, really, I'm just going to be treated like a girl, kind of like... No, I don't think so. You've gone too far along the path of testosterone and your voice and your appearance, everything. Nobody's going to treat you as a girl. You think they're going to start opening doors for you and being all polite and not swearing in front of you and stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> You don't think you're brave, but I think you're brave. You are brave. I hope they feel brave. Just... You are, Jay. You should be really, really proud of yourself. I'm really proud of you. Just keep my hair shut and wear both clothes and stuff. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Yeah. Jay is off to uni where he's arranged to hook up with Marek for a drink at the end of the day. I'm about to meet Marek and tell him about the fact that I'm trans and I'm really nervous. You know, worrying that something bad will happen, you know, that it'll be weirded out or not want to talk to me or just be awkward, you know. I just want it all to go okay. I'm really, really scared about telling him. So, just nervous, really, really nervous. Jamie has decided he wants to tell Marek off camera. Um, well, much better than I expected. Um, basically, I told him, and he was just like, cool, um, and then just carried on chatting to me. Yeah, I'm really happy that Jamie's told me because like, I feel like he obviously trusts me as a friend, so therefore like, I can trust him with whatever I want to say if there's anything that I need to come to him about. I just feel like so much better about it now. I was so worried, so terrified, for all for like, not really for nothing, but like 
no, nothing bad happened, so, so, so pleased. Would have never guessed, like, so it's, like, no one would know because it's not easy to guess. I suppose before I started having uh, injections and stuff which give me the hormones, I was more girly and I kind of just came across as being a really butch girl. You'll still be like one of the lads who'll still go out for like drinks and stuff, so... That's cool. It's, it's, it's all good. Like, because you see that's always something like I worry about with people, like sometimes I worry that... Because there's people I've told before where I'll tell them, but then immediately people just see me as a girl and like, I'm not a girl, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so, sometimes I find that hard, being treated differently, but like, that's really cool that you think that, that's good. Oh, I'm glad that you told me. It's cool. I'm glad I told you too. <laughs> cool. Hopefully in the future, my mum can be proud of me.